You know, if you're a young musician, singer, songwriter, and you're wanting to get into the music business today, you have to know that the business looks a lot different than it used to look. And the best advice I could give anybody is, number one, know that you're called to it, first of all, because if you're called to it, you're gonna put everything you have into it. And the second thing is, what if you're looking for a record deal, then just know that these labels uh, are, first of all, there's fewer deals to be had today because it's a different climate, but they're looking for people that can do it themselves. They're, they're look, looking for artists and bands that uh, are using all of the social network tools, that have their own website, that are writing their own songs, that are touring, playing, managing their band. Uh, there was a time years ago when uh, you know, record deals were a little, um, I don't want to say easier to get, they were never easy to get, but there were more to be had. And what you'd have is a lot of young folks that uh, came up and they thought that the label would be their savior. In other words, all they had to do is, you know, look pretty or handsome and uh, sing and some label's going to swoop them up and do everything for them. Uh, that's not the case. It really wasn't the case so much then, but it's, it's much less the case today. A label wants somebody that can do it themselves. And the good news is uh, the indie world is more popular than it's ever been and, and you have every tool imaginable to be an indie artist. You can get your songs on iTunes in a matter of weeks and it's really inexpensive. You could do build your own websites, do whatever, your, manage your fan base. And that's a good quality to have no matter if you're shopping yourself to a label or if you say, hey, I want to do this myself as an independent. And it takes that person, I'm, I'm telling you, you just, you take a hundred musicians and line them all up and some of them are just creative and love music and that's about all they live for. The other ones love music and are creative but they're also passionate and aggressive and drivers and forward moving people and even administrators. I, some of the best guys out there, uh, they know how to, how to move forward in business. And you really need that today. You can't just do your art because you, know, you need more people to surround you to make it happen if all you do is play or sing or write. But if you play, sing, and write and you've got some business savvy, uh, you don't need a big posse. You can get out there with yourself and a few key people and make it happen. Okay, right now, well, I got a few wonderful things going on. I'm one of the pastors at our church, which is Grace Chapel in Leapers Fork. I'm the pastoral care pastor there, and that's a, a wonderful situation for me. Great people, a great church, and I just love serving in that capacity because I get to, you know, just be with people, and I just, I totally love it. I do that. I'm also the president of Kingdom Bound Ministries uh, in Buffalo, New York. And, uh, you know, booking the festival that we do. We do a large Christian festival every year. And also a Christian Musician Summit, which is a big conference for musicians. And we do several concerts throughout the year and have many other new initiatives that we're diving into. And I also still play and speak. I go out and uh, uh, teach at conferences and I still play and still make records a bit. The last solo record I did what came out in the spring of 07. It was called Won't Fade Away, and that was just a fun record. I hadn't done one in 10 years. I took a, took a nice long break, but then started getting a buildup of songs that I really wanted to record, so that was a lot of fun. I did that in Nashville with uh, some of my best buddies, and most recently uh, I just finished a record called Blues Council, uh, and it's called Let the Healing Begin, and that was recorded with my some of my oldest and best friends. It's really the Kingdom Bound Jam Band. We started jamming at the festival t almost 24 years ago, and uh, every uh, festival time we would do a couple of nights of jam sessions, and we just have so much fun with it, we decided finally to make a record. And uh, that just came out recently, and um, it's just, you know, when it's in you, you got to do it. And for me, it's, it's something that is, is a part of who I am. And I would say to any musician that, uh, you know, you don't have to uh, be a full-time musician to be a musician. You know, go out, do what you need to do, go, do what God's called you to do. Provide for your family, be a good steward, but know that if there's something creative inside of you, 
you need to get it out and people need to hear it or see it or, or, or watch it. So just a bit of an encouragement. It has blessed me over the years to be able to make records uh, when I was doing it full time and even now that I do it just as part of, of, of my normal schedule. Get out of this place. Pots on the stove, but your water ain't boiling. Holt Vaughn from uh, East Co. is a great buddy. He's one of our board members, and uh, what they do at East Co. would amaze any of you if you knew the full scope of what this company does. They also have built an amazing studio called California Road Studios that I've had the privilege of uh, recording in. And matter of fact, I'd like to kind of camp out and just hang around a little longer because they, they have totally done it right. They are serving God. They're serving not just the community, but they're serving the world through the products that they develop, the books they write, and the ministries, the big ministries that they support. And by big, I don't mean just big in numbers. I mean big because these are the ministries that God has breathed on and has blessed and given a world stage. When you wait.